Hey guys, Jen here. As you can see by Spaceship Earth behind me, I am back at Epcot. And I don't know if you see these heavy, heavy rain clouds that are heading this way. I forgot my raincoat in the car and I'm too lazy to go back and get it. So we'll see how today goes. <laughs> But I am here to show you, um, similar to what I'm doing with Magic Kingdom, what's open. So what shops are open, what food stands and restaurants are open. So let's get in so we can figure it out. Epcot you can go to the left to go towards future world and like mystery space and test track or you can go right to head towards the land and the sea and that's where we're starting this bad boy at so when you come down the right side the first thing you come up on is the seas with Nemo and friends right outside of that is a snack kiosk and that is currently open standbys only five minutes yes please mine, mine, mine. So I have to say, my day has not gone as planned. So it is after two, it's about quarter after two. I just got here. The only good thing about that is Epcot's open until nine. So I don't have to like rush. Epcot's open from 11 to nine daily. So that's the only good thing about my day, going, taking a left turn and me not leaving the house until after one. It is really amazing in here when there's no people. Cause you get like the full effect of the water is so cool and they still have the little movie playing even though you're just like running right through projectors on the floor before. That's pretty awesome. And that's how it projects it up on the wall and ceiling. So you still exit the ride into the aquarium. All the tanks are still open. So we're gonna do a quick lap around, see what's open and what's closed. So the manatee viewing is open and they have the floor set up with dots of where to stand. <gasps> Look at how beautiful, I love manatees. Someday I'm gonna get up the nerve to kayak in one of the springs. I'm just afraid of alligators. And the Ocean Life Small Aquarium is open. <clears throat> However, now it's a one way where it tells you how to walk through it. But it's still open. See, oh, I just saw Dory flying by. Here she comes, she's zooming. Ready, ready, ready. Dory! And it looks like Nemo and Marlin. Oh, how cute. These are some big seahorses. There's like a sea urchin type thingy under there. You can see his one tentacle coming out. Oh, there's some like zoomy fish in here. There's a big, this is a beautiful white starfish. Oh look, 
there's two seahorses over there. There's some little shrimps. Here he comes. Here he comes. Wait, I lost him. There he goes. So there's the shrimps. I don't know what these are, but they're very cool looking. The seahorse was just swimming around, and it looks like there's... Is that like a sleek sea cucumber, maybe? So I only see one leg. I don't see the rest of the starfish. Very cool in here. I think that's a snail, but I could be wrong. Oh yeah, there's a sea snail there. There's a sea snail right there. There's a zoomy fish. There's one there. And then there's one way up top right there. Oh, oh there's a ton of them. They're all over this rock. That's so cool. And look, there's little there's a different shrimp. He's hiding though, I can't get him. So the pay playground is currently closed. But the store is open and it looks like Turtle Talk with Crust might be open. So Turtle Talk itself is closed, but because there are fish in here, they're just letting you into this area to see the fish. And it looks like the game, the touchscreen game is also shut down. Jellyfish! So many jellyfish. There's some rays in this tank and a dory, but it looks like the rays are all sleeping. And this one has sharks. You can see two right here. And then they're all like all over the tank, just sleeping. There's one little, oh, I thought he was gonna zoom by, but he turned around. He was like, nope, no pictures, please. There's also a couple baby rays in here. Two and three that are just buried and sleeping. Oh, so beautiful. Oh look, there's a little fish like cleaning off the eel. He's like getting a bath. So the second floor is also open. So let's head up. And I like that the stairs are separated. One set of stairs is to go up and one set of stairs is to go down. Now the up escalator is currently not working but the down escalator is. So we're gonna stop with, start with the top level of manatees and see if they're gonna hang up at the top of the water. Ah, oh, it's feeding time. Look at him go for it. He's like, oh wait, I get one too. So hard to see with the glare, but he's munching away on that lettuce. He's using one of his little flippers to hold it up to his mouth. I don't know if it's just because it's a slower part of the day, but there's really not many people up here. It's nice. Can you see the Mickey? They're cleaning the windows and he made a Mickey out of the soap. It's so cool. And what's really cool is this tunnel here. This is the EAC portion of the Nemo ride. There's been a few times where Mickey's actually been spotted swimming in with the fish. So um, keep your eyes peeled. You may see more than just fish in here. And then the last thing up here is the nursery and that is also open, again, with a standard way to walk through. Those dories really like to swim fast. I love how they even show you how they regrow coral. And this is how they do it pretty much everywhere. There will be actual coral farms where once they're big enough, they will transplant them back out into the oceans to help the reefs that are struggling and dying to help bring them back. And then last but not least is the Exit to Future World, which puts you through the store. I don't think I've ever walked actually through the store, so let's see what they got. So I like that they have plush that are specific to animals they have here as well as like the specific Finding Nemo themed. And it looks like also we have a few um, Little Mermaid items kind of mixed in with Finding Nemo. The otters are so cute. Oh my gosh it's a cuddle party! And the shark that's hysterical. We have just a small amount of clothes they just have some, a lot of the seagull specific clothes. Oh, this is cool. 
Finding Nemo Beach Pail if you live near the beach or travel to a beach a lot. They have some bath toys that are Pixar themed. Um, they have some Nemo specific bath toys. And then the tubes. Germ, it's a tube. Well, that's no fun. That's just a tease. Look at how close that cloud is to covering the sun. No fair. But now one thing to note is if you just, just want to buy something or just see the aquarium, you don't have to ride the ride. You can enter through here. You enter into the store and then into the aquarium. We just finished traversing the high seas. Now we're going to head into the land and hopefully can get a couple rides in. So right when you first walk in, there's the QR code um, to bring up the menu to place, to bring up the app to place a mobile order if you wanted to eat at Sunshine Seasons. Looks like on the top floor, Awesome Planet is open. Um, looks like it's full for the next show though. Garden Grill is open. Um, the only thing I don't know is if they have any characters right now. So I actually just asked, and they do still have the characters. It's just kind of like, you know, you can't touch them. You gotta like stay seated while they come by. So now we're gonna head down and see if we can get on some rides. And they've really spaced out the tables in sunshine seasons. There's a lot less seating right now. Said it was 10 minutes for the land. I'll do it. I love the land. I like the old slow, like a little old lady at heart with the rides I like. But I'm thinking these are probably here to stay because um, these are like actually attached to all the queues just to make it safer. Actually working on the plants. Looks like they're harvesting the basil. They're, oh, they're cutting off the basil flowers, I think. These plants are definitely on their way up. The extended queue is open for Soren. However, do 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 do. It's only a 10 minute wait. And the 10 minute wait for Lee the other day was walk on. So let's see if that still holds true. That's interesting. I got sent through the express pass lane, fast pass lane. Um, I guess they're separating people between concourses. They're doing like every other. So the couple in front of me went the, state, the regular line. Huh. I think Lee was on this side the other day too. It looks like I will have just a tiny bit maybe one to two rides worth of a wait. Not too bad. going to finish it up here for the land. Um, I think it's really interesting that most of the places you visit, I've been binge watching the Bucket List family and they've been to all of them so it's really cool. Where the Butterfly Pavilion was during Flower, Flower and Garden, that pretzel stand is open. However, the two shopping kiosks just outside of the Imagination Pavilion are closed as well as this one and the 
flavored popcorn stand is also closed right now. So we traveled under the sea, then we soared around the world. Where's left to go over here? But inside our own imagination with Figment. And this is a literal walk on at five minutes. So let's go do it. This is one of my favorite cues. And since there's nobody behind me right now, I can kind of take my time and walk through it today. I love this. So I have Professor Zielinski from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, Professor Brainerd from Flubber, and of course, Dr. Channing, who is our host today for our tour of the Imaginarium. Can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. So a lot of the image works is currently shut down. Um, they've closed all of, actually it looks like all of it shut down. All of the games are closed as well as the meet and greets. So basically now you just exit the ride. Well look, because there's no meet and greet, you can get a really great shot of the internet um, here, just like as an Instagram wall. So it looks like the Amazing, Amazing Pictures Photo Studio is still open. However, this is not part of PhotoPass. This would be a separate um, purchase. And now the DVC Lounge, which is up above, is still open. And um, so is the little store here at the exit of the ride. So it looks like in addition to Figment merchandise, they also have some Pixar merch as well. But this is like the place to come for Figment stuff. I have that, my little Figment. Oh, <gasps> Lee. That's amazing. We need to get Lee one of these. He would rock that. They also have a small selection of DVC merchandise. It is officially raining and now I sit here and wait it out. Ooh, mama, those are some dark clouds. But the end is in sight. They are going this way. So that's the end of it. So it looks like the worst is past. It is like barely drizzling. Um, yeah, I just don't know how I want to finish this day. Got that beautiful sky and the dark, dark, dark storm clouds. So originally I was gonna cut over and do my normal always go left, but I think because the storm still hasn't completely cleared over there, I think I'm gonna break tradition and go right again. Um, because there's sun over that way. So sad that the whole backside is just ripped open and it kind of like ruins your whole view of Spaceship Earth from back here. Of course, the dark, dark clouds don't help either. So I know this is not a food and wine specific video, but I can't come to food and wine and not get something to eat. And my favorite ice cream is back. So let's go get some. Oh, and Lee, I found the mimosas, but I'm not getting any today. I guess because of how hot it is, the ice cream is so soft that it won't stay on the cone. This is like super disappointing. Now I have to eat it with a spoon and I don't wanna. Totally first world problems, I know, but I'll live. I have to say, because we're skirting the edge of the storm, the clouds have shifted over just enough that the sun is gone and there's a slight breeze. It is flipping gorgeous. I just had to edit myself um, right now. It's probably about 70 degrees in the park right now. I'm in heaven. Hi friend. Sorry, I don't have any food for you. Okay, So I know I started with dessert. I do want to get something to eat while I'm here. I kind of want to do this crispy citrus chicken. <clears throat> we all know my track record with trying new stuff. So I think I'm gonna wait till Lee's with me. Um, Cause this way if I don't like it, he'll eat it and I'll have to throw it away. So here in Kaz, we come into Canada. <clears throat> the maple popcorn spot is shut down. The Canada, although 
That might be from the storm because that was open the other day. So now I'm not sure what I'm doing. Canada Far and Wide is open right now. So is Le Cellier. It smells so good. I can smell from Le Cellier like the steak where they're grilling it. Oh, it smells so good. But the Trading Post refreshments and the gift shop, the Northwest Mercantile, are currently closed here in Canada. So there is no shows here in Canada. Um, they just have the benches kind of spread out to provide social distancing and to give you a place to sit. So the Joffrey's right outside of the World Show place is open, but the kiosk here uh, is closed and that is like permanently closed because you can see because they have the boot, the benches in front of it. But I am heading this way, but I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough so I can take pictures of the menus for a blog I'm going to put up on the ThemeParkOhana.com. Um, that just shows all the menus for all the booths that are currently open. She's currently playing. Maybe we're gonna watch a little piano playing. And she finished right as I got to her. It's about accurate for me. One good thing to know inside the World Show Place, there are bathrooms in there. There's a men's and a women's room. So um, that's a good place to stop if you need a break from the heat and maybe uh, to go to the bathroom. So next we're gonna head into the Magic Kingdom. Nope, that's not true. We're not heading into the, oh, here comes the rain. Um, Heading into the United Kingdom. Magic Kingdom's down the street. Again, there are bathrooms here. Now, the Rosen Crown outside bar is open. It's just closed right now because of the rain and thunder and lightning. The Rosen Crown pub bar and restaurant are both open. So the sports store is closed. And again, the Yorkshire County Fish Shop um, quick service is closed. However, the seating area is open as a mask-free relaxation station. So the Twinnings Tea Shop is open. Okay, so this whole side is closed. Um, the Crown and Crest, where you can look up your family crowns, uh, crests and all is closed. The UK, like the Rock Shop is closed. And the Toy Soldier, where like the Winnie the Pooh toys is also closed. So now here, where the... Um, I think it's called British Rocks or something. Whatever the band is that usually plays here is, is actually shut down. Um, the band is not here right now. And this is now a socially distanced meet and greet with Alice, I think Mary Poppins too, but I know for sure I've seen Alice. And could this weather not be any more perfect for me being in the UK? I mean, seriously though. Oh no, the clouds changed direction. Oh, this could be bad for me. Okay, super zoomed in, hope I'm not too shaky. How cool. That is the edge of the storm right there. That is wild looking. So the entrance to Epcot from Boardwalk Yacht and Beach Club is still open, as well as the World Traveler, which is the little gift shop right at um, the International Gateway. And you'll notice the Skyliner's not moving. That is just because of the thunder and lightning and high winds in the area. Um, it's just shut down for storms. Once these clear out, it'll start going again just missed some wicked awesome lightning. That stinks. Do you guys see that right there? That is a band of rain. And unfortunately the cloud, oh I got that, oh my god. Okay, so before I got super excited by the lightning, that's actually coming towards me, but it's like going that way as it comes towards, so it's kind of going off to the side. So hopefully I'm not gonna get drenched before this night is over. But like, the end of the storm is right there. We are literally on the edge of the storm. But I gotta say, the temperature keeps dropping. It is beautiful right now. So as I come into France, it's getting real scary again. The food and wine kiosk is open, obviously. The princesses are not doing their meet and greets here. There is a cavalcade, obviously not when it's storming, but there is a cavalcade that comes through where the princesses all ride on like a trolley. So they did leave up just a couple of topiaries um, from Flower and Garden and Remy is one of them. So it looks like the perfumery and the Kid Cut Fun Stop are both closed, but the Beauty and the Beast sing along is open. So I'm gonna hopefully ride this out inside. This is really cool. They have costumes from different theater productions. So it's Hunchback of Notre Dame, Cinderella. These are actual props and costumes used on the stage in these. This was just from La Boheme. 
Beauty and the Beast. This is from the cinema, from the movie. So these are actual, this is one of the Cogsworths um, that was in the movie. This is the Lumiere, Mrs. Potts and Chip, and the Magic Mirror. And these are all currently on loan from the Walt Disney Archives and Belle, Stress, and Kate. So these were the ones actually used in the movie. That's cool. Well, this is interesting. So far, I'm the only person in here. Now, it is 18 minutes, about 15 now, until the next show. So I do have a bit of a wait, but it'd be pretty cool if I had the whole theater to myself. Of course, then you'll only have to hear my singing, and I will definitely apologize for that. So these are a brand new pair of ears. Oh, I don't like them. These are like hard plastic. But um, they have the Eiffel Tower on it. And the Eiffel Tower is wearing a little mini bow. It says Bon Appetit. And these are $29.99. Okay, these are extremely heavy. And because they're so heavy, they had to put the claw teeth in. I don't think these would be a very comfortable pair of ears at all. The claw teeth are also just like double-sided tape attached. And there's a couple pairs where it's already completely falling off. So be very careful if you're going to buy a pair of these. Well, these ones, sorry, I have hard candy in my mouth. These ones are much nicer. These are just the traditional sequins ears. And these are just normal. There's no claw teeth. They're just a traditional ear. And they still have the Eiffel Tower with the mini bow. These will last way longer than the macaron pairs. <gasps> this is new. This is a France-specific uh, spirit jersey. It says, ooh la la, have Cotton World Showcase on the back. And it has Mademoiselle Mini on the front. And I, I don't personally like white spirit jerseys, but I love this print. With the white on the, with the, the light and dark pink and the Eiffel Tower and the roses. This is gorgeous. And it's the new standard price of $69.99. Also note that the patisserie is still open. And I actually think I want to stop in and get a soda because I am super thirsty. So Chefs de France is also closed right now. However, the two uh, ice cream and frozen drink stand are both open. Next up we come on to Morocco. And the Tangerine Cafe, which is the quick service, is closed. However, Spice Road Table is still open and the Moroccan gift shop is still open. So I'm going to walk back here because I'm curious to see if the bazaar is open or closed. So the bazaar is still open. Apparently now's the time to come back here because there is nobody here. But the meet and greet um, where Lamps of Wonder is, is closed. And the Fez House is still open. And just remember if you come in here and try to escape the rain, the center is open to the air so we'll get wet. But. The fountain itself is undercover. This is completely different. There was like a driving game here apparently, a women's off-road race. What? There used to be like the horse and it used to show all like the historical jewelry and stuff. And now it's talking about off-road racing. Wow, this is so different and so modern, it's weird. So they took what used to be the whole building talking about the culture and it's down to this one little corner of the room um, where it just talks about the culture. Now one thing to note is this is not Disney owned. This whole pavilion is still owned by Morocco, um, by the government of Morocco. So they choose what's in here, not Disney. I also love that this is like real legitimate mosaics. Like this had to take so long to make and it's just all oh, the craftsmanship. Now up there is painted, but the tiles are legit. And obviously the Moroccan band is not currently performing due to everything that's going on right now. So also the Moroccan beverage stand is open and so is the Moroccan um, food and wine pavilion. This is wild looking. It is like intense out. Although it's intense on that side. It's a lot lighter, as you can see over here. That side is dark. So the festival markets that are like stores, those are open even through storms. The kiosks, they shut down when the weather blows in. 
So next up is Japan. Now the drummers are not performing right now. I think they have performed. No, actually no. The drummers just aren't performing at all right now. But next up is Japan. So let's see what's open and what's not. So the store is open and I always love walking through here. These Godzilla shirts are amazing. Wow, they're so cool. Holy cow, the Godzilla shirts, the t-shirts are $50. That's crazy. I don't like them that much. Okay, Hello Kitty is glasses goals. I want glasses that look exactly like this. They are not doing the oyster jewelry right now, but um, the rest of the store is open. Okay, I've seen these before, specifically the ramen one. I'm gonna have to come back and get a couple of these and we're gonna have to do a video of us making these because these just look like so much fun. So you can still do KidCot, but it's like a prefab kit that you get that has everything in it already. And I just love it in here. They still have the Kawaii Culture exhibition. I still say I will eventually have a Totoro bathroom for my kids. I have not been able to find, I've looked for this um, shower curtain, I haven't been able to find it yet. But both kids have agreed that they would accept a Studio Ghibli Totoro themed bathroom. And someday it will happen. So Teppan. Edo and Tokyo Dining are open. Now I don't know if Teppanetto is doing the hibachi or not. And it looks like this, the mochi stand is completely shut down. And I can't tell if this is permanently shut down or just shut down for the storms. And, oh no, is my drink stand closed? <gasps> oh no. My favorite drink stand is closed. So, oh. It's available, it moved, okay. So the Tokyo Sunset and Baila Sake are both available at Ketsura Grill. So Ketsura Grill is the quick service right up there. And if you're walking into Japan, it's right behind the uh, pagoda. They have really, really good food in there too. I've eaten in there a few times. I've never seen the fish all gathered like this before. They must think I have food to feed them, but alas, I don't. The sake stand is still open, as well as the funnel cake stand. And since I am in between Japan and America, and America is halfway through World Showcase, I think I'm gonna end this video right here. And we'll do this in a two-part series, because I've droned on enough, I think. So, that is what is open in the first half of Epcot. In part two, I will go to the second half, which I'm actually gonna film as soon as I end this. So. Don't judge when I'm in the same shirt because I'm filming them back to back. But if you guys like these videos, please click that subscribe button, tap the like, and ring that notification bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank you so much for watching, and now we're on to the next adventure. Bye, guys!